Hello and welcome to today's physics lecture of EM induction. Now as we are through with the concepts of self-induction and the coefficient of self-induction or the self-inductance, now we shall be studying about the self-induction of a plain coil. of a plain coil, right? So, if we need to understand this coil diagram, we can take it like this. Say, for example, this is the coil. Over here, say, the current is flowing like this, okay. This is the middle point and this is the radius Say for example this is a circle and this is the radius of radius R. The current that is flowing, say for example this is I, right? And say for example it has got N number of loops. Right? So, we are going to find out the self-inductance of a plane coil by applying the formulas of self-induction. Okay? Now, from self-induction, we have seen that phi is equals to Li. Right? Where phi is the magnetic flux. L is the self-inductance, SI unit of force is Henry, and I is the current which is flowing. Now, we know that this pi, okay, is equals to the dot product of the B vector and the A vector. So, this will be B magnitude multiplied by area magnitude multiplied by cos theta where theta is the angle between the B vector and A vector. Right? Now this term will be phi, the entire term, right, will be equal to Li. Now in this scenario, if we do take this phi, see, the area means like this, it is coming out or going in, whatever. And if the B is also made as such that it is coming likewise only. So, over here what we could see, if we do see it from this side, we will see a coil like this. Over here the B is also like this and the A is also like this. So, the angle between them is what? Zero. And the cos of 0 will be equal to 1, which implies the magnitude of B is now to be multiplied with the magnitude of A, and simply this is 1 now is equal to Li. Now, as we have seen in 
the previous chapter of magnetism, right? We could write it as the B could be written as mu naught n i divided by two r, right? As we have seen that the B over here, the magnitude of this B at this center, the magnitude of this B at the center of this plane coil is mu naught n i divided by 2 r where r is the radius, i is the current that is flowing in the coil and n is the number of loops. Right? And multiplied by what will be the area of this plane? Simply, this is a circle of radius r. That will be pi r square is equals to pi r square. Now this will be equals to L multiplied by i. Now look carefully. This i will get cancelled to this i. So the remaining whatever the term is that will be equal to L. Right? So, if you see the r could also be cancelled with the r square leaving only one r on the numerator side. So we can write L as equals to mu naught n pi r mu naught n pi r divided by 2, right? For the n number of coils, this is for the one coil. For n number of loops of the coil, we know that the phi is equals to n b a cos theta. Right? This is for the one coil. So for all the coils, so for n number of loops of the coil, this L will be equal to mu naught n pi r divided by 2 multiplied by n. Okay? So L comes out to be equals to mu naught pi divided by 2 multiplied by n square r. So this is the expression for the self-inductance of a plane coil, right? So in the subsequent lectures we shall be studying about the self-induction of a solenoid. Thank you.